Hello, and I'm Mitch with Acronym. A question that seems to get asked a lot is, can I connect more than one hub at a time? The answer is, absolutely. However, we didn't really know how many you could connect, so we decided to try. Turns out, we ran out of cables on our 40th device. Luckily, the USB standard does define a max number of devices. Before we get to that, let's see how Updater does with our 40 devices. In theory, USB can support 127 devices. However, that can vary greatly depending on how your specific hardware is set up. For instance, when our hub is connected, it actually appears as two separate devices, one representing the hub and the other representing the brainstem device to communicate with. This means that you can only connect up to 63 hubs on one machine. However, this wouldn't be very practical because you'd also want to be able to connect to devices in order to test them. Doing a little math, you can fully saturate three levels of hubs, that's 21 hubs taking up 42 of the loud devices. From there, you would have 64 USB ports to connect other devices to, bringing your total up to 106 of 127 devices allowed. This gives you a little bit of breathing room for the maximum set by USB standard. Let's take a look at some code and see a few ways to work with that many hubs. The first example is a slight variation of the example that ships with our Brainstem development kit, but with everything doubled. The important part here is how I connect and disconnect from these devices. I've discreetly called out specific devices based on their serial number. This also means you have to keep track of the unique hub objects you have created. Although this works, it's not very manageable. In the next example, we use a function called sDiscover. sDiscover is a part of our C API. This function returns a list of brainstem spec objects that has been discovered for a given transport. I then use this list to connect to all the devices. From here, I can use a simple index inside these for loops to reference the hub devices and their ports individually. This method is preferred because the code doesn't care how many devices are connected. Let's go ahead and run this code. Looks like it found 0 to 39, or 40 hubs, which is what we have connected and what we expected. Let's go ahead and disconnect too and see how the code adapts. Looks like it found 38 hubs, which is two less from before, as we expected. Let's take a look at another example written from our Python API. Although the language is a little different, the code performs exactly the same function as a C++ example does. However, in Python, the function for finding all devices is just that, find all. Let's test this program. Looks like it found 38 devices because we had left two unplugged from the previous example. Let's plug those back in and see how this code adapts. Looks like it found all 40 hubs that time. I hope this information was helpful. If you would like the source files for these examples, please visit our website, acronym.com, and navigate to our blog. You will also be able to find a link in the description below.